The sun beat down upon the pavement, warming the concrete beneath my feet as I slipped off my sunglasses and gazed out at the inviting oasis before me, the public pool. I had always been drawn to the allure of such places, where strangers became acquaintances and secrets were shared in whispers around splashing water. The scent of chlorine wafted through the air, mingling with the sweet aroma of sunscreen-scented skin as I made my way towards the sparkling blue expanse. As I settled into a lounge chair, eyes scanning the pool's perimeter for potential interest, they landed on him, bronzed and broad-shouldered, his dark hair slicked back to reveal piercing green eyes that seemed to hold mine captive. His chiseled features were set in a perpetual smile, as if he savored every moment basking in the sun. I couldn't help but notice how his muscles rippled beneath the surface of his skin as he effortlessly stroked through the water leaving ripples behind like a tantalizing promise of what was to come. His eyes met mine once more, and I felt it, an undeniable spark of attraction that crackled between us like electricity. As we chatted idly about everything from pool rules to our shared love for summer nights, his fingertips brushed against the water's surface in rhythmic motion, drawing my gaze inexorably towards those hypnotic eyes. Time lost all meaning as I found myself drawn into the depths of their emerald pools, and I knew that this was where things would get interesting. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the poolside tableau, we excused ourselves from our respective loungers to take an impromptu swim. The water enveloped us like a warm embrace as we played fully splashed each other beneath its surface, and it wasn't long before things took a decidedly more intimate turn. We swam closer, bodies gliding effortlessly through the water, until our lips met in a kiss that was both tender and urgent. His hands explored my skin with reckless abandon as I wrapped myself around him, feeling his hardness press against mine beneath the waves. As we broke apart for air, he whispered something husky into my ear, and I knew it would be just us now, lost in this sea of desire where nothing mattered but the present moment. We swam hand in hand, our bodies entwined like a promise made to each other as the pool's evening lights flickered on. And so we floated there, suspended between reality and fantasy, two strangers turned lovers amidst a backdrop of sun-kissed serenity, lost in the intoxicating thrill of forbidden desire. As we broke the surface of the pool, our bodies still entwined from the kiss that had left us both breathless and wanting more. We floated there for a moment, suspended in the warm water, our eyes locked on each other's. The evening lights surrounding the pool flickered softly, casting a golden glow over the scene before us. The sounds of laughter and splashing water receded into the background as we savored the afterglow of our impromptu swim-turned romance. He pulled me closer, his hands cradling my hips as he whispered something husky in my ear once more. I shivered at the touch, feeling a thrill run through me like a spark of electricity. What's your name? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. Liam, he replied, his eyes never leaving mine. And you are. Emily, I said, smiling up at him as he smiled back with equal warmth. As we floated there, the water lapping gently against our skin, Liam's fingers began to dance across my hip bones. The touch was light and teasing, sending shivers down my spine. I wrapped my arms around his neck, pulling him closer as our lips met once more in a soft, gentle kiss. It was as if we were savoring the taste of each other, drinking in the sweetness of our newfound connection. The pool lights seemed to dim and brighten in time with our kisses, casting an ethereal glow over us. The world around us melted away, leaving only the two of us suspended in this sea of desire. As we broke apart for air once more, Liam's eyes sparkled with mischief. Want to grab some dinner? He asked, his voice low and husky. I nodded my heart racing at the prospect of spending more time with him. We climbed out of the pool, water dripping from our skin as we made our way towards the poolside cafe. The evening air was filled with the scent of burgers and fries wafting from the grill, mingling with the sound of laughter and music drifting from a nearby band. Liam and I exchanged a look, both of us knowing that this night would be one to remember. As we walked hand in hand towards the food stalls, I couldn't help but wonder what lay ahead for us. Two strangers turned lovers amidst the sun-kissed serenity of our little oasis by the pool. 
As we walked hand in hand towards the food stalls, the sounds of laughter and music grew louder, mingling with the savory aroma of burgers and fries wafting from the grill. Liam and I exchanged a look, both of us knowing that this night would be one to remember. We ordered our food and found a quiet spot to sit down, watching as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm orange glow over the poolside scene. The music grew louder and we couldn't help but sway to the beat, our hips moving in tandem as if drawn by an invisible force. As we ate and laughed together, I found myself feeling more at ease with Liam than I had with anyone in a long time. There was something about his easygoing nature, his quick wit, and his infectious smile that put me at ease. So, what do you do for fun? I asked him, curious to know more about this enigmatic stranger who had captured my attention so effortlessly. Liam chuckled, his eyes crinkling at the corners. I'm a musician, he said. I play guitar and sing in a band. My eyes widened in surprise. No way, I love music, he grinned, his teeth flashing white. Yeah, what kind of music do you like? We spent the next hour talking about our shared love of music, exchanging stories about our favorite bands and artists. As we talked, I found myself feeling more and more drawn to Liam's charismatic personality. As the night wore on, we decided to take a walk around the poolside area, enjoying the cool evening air and the sound of laughter and music drifting from the nearby band. We strolled hand in hand, our feet moving in tandem as if driven by an invisible force. As we walked, Liam turned to me with a mischievous glint in his eye. Hey, want to see my band play? He asked, his voice low and husky. My heart skipped a beat at the prospect of seeing him perform live. Absolutely, I said, my voice barely above a whisper. He grinned, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Great, we're playing at the outdoor amphitheater tomorrow night. You should come. I nodded eagerly, feeling like I was already hooked on this impromptu romance. As we continued our walk, the sounds of music and laughter grew louder, mingling with the scent of burgers and fries wafting from the grill. Liam and I exchanged a look, both of us knowing that this night would be one to remember. And as we walked off into the sunset, hand in hand, I couldn't help but wonder what lay ahead for us. Two strangers turned lovers amidst the sun-kissed serenity of our little oasis by the pool.